Okay, let's see how this K bar stacks up against the uh, some of the some of the books. All right, let's unpack it. That's one hell of a fancy holster sheath, whatever the hell you want to call it. I'm not entirely a, a, a you know fully. A, I'm not really fully a fan of the uh, basically the the mechanism where. Uh, basically, once once it's all the way in, it's uh, we've it's already loose, that it's locked in place, and basically this um, kind of this uh, you know press and release kind of function. I, I'm not really personally a fan. So personally, I I personally still prefer the buck. Maybe the uh, K bar will go, grow on me. The reason I got it because it was a very uh, it was very reasonably priced, and first I thought. It, it's recently priced, so I thought it's it's got to be made in China. Then I found out it's definitely made in the USA. So the combination of the price point and it being made 100%, uh, basically a, a fully American K bar. Uh, yeah, I had to get it. Basically, just you know, it's the namesake. It's a K bar, so it's it's a, it's a, it's a good collection. It's relatively it's it's a good collection. So. Uh, may, maybe it will kind of grow on me. Maybe, you know, basically don't get buyer's remorse on anything. Okay, there you have it. The black one is the K-bar, the rest are a bunch of bucks.